Good afternoon, everyone. This is Mike coming back at you with yet another video on Intro to Algebra. In the previous video, we talked about some of the basic sets of numbers uh, that we're going to be working with in this class. We talked about uh, counting numbers, whole numbers, integers, rationals, irrationals, and the reals. We talked about the real number line, uh, comparison of numbers, and the absolute value. In this video, we're going to do a quick recap uh, with adding and uh, subtracting uh, certain real numbers. Not all of them, uh, just certain ones. Adding and subtracting integers should be familiar to us. Nothing really crazy happening there. Uh, we should all know how to do that by now. Uh, but I do want to uh, review adding and subtracting fractions, specifically the case when the denominators of your fractions are not the same. And when this is the case, you need to find a common multiple between the bottoms of those two fractions. That is to say, you need to find a common denominator. And what we want to find, ideally, is the least common denominator. And we want to find the least one because it's going to save us some work later on. So to find the least common denominator, also known as the LCD, first thing you're going to do is you're going to write the denominators uh, of each fraction as a product of prime numbers. As a quick recap, a prime number is a number whose only factors are 1 and the number uh, it, it, itself. Once you've done that, you're going to look at what prime numbers occur in each of those uh, denominators for those two fractions. If the same prime number occurs in both numbers, you want to use the greater number of times that the factor appears uh, in one of the two denominators. If a uh, prime number only shows up in one of those two, you are going to use that prime number in your LCD, but you're only going to use it once. Once you've figured that out for any prime numbers that happen, you're going to take the product of all of those things, and what you get is going to be your LCD. So we'll do a couple samples here. Uh, we're going to find the LCD, least common denominator, for the fractions 3 fourths and 5 sixths. So I'm going to take my denominators of 4 and 6, and I'm going to write each of these as a product of prime numbers. Uh, the first few prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13. 4 is 2 times 2. And 6 is 2 times 3. 2 and 3, as I just said, were prime numbers. So, now that I have step 1 done, I'm going to figure out what my LCD is. So, I look at the prime 2. The prime number 2 is showing up in each of these guys here. I have to use the greater number of times that it shows up. Here it shows up twice. Here the number 2 shows up once. So I need to use it two times here. And then we said if a prime shows up in one number but not the other, we are going to use that prime, but we only use it once. And that's it. Those are the only prime numbers that showed up, 2 or 3. Once we've gone through this with all the primes that show up, we multiply these things. So I have 2 times 2 times 3, which is 12. And 12 is the least common denominator or least common multiple uh, between the numbers 4 and 6. The second one, uh, is actually a very uh, friendly case. We're going to do the same thing, but we're finding the LCD for the fractions 4 thirds and 2 sevenths. So 
Again, I'm going to take the bottoms, 3 and 7. Well, we listed off the first few primes, and we said that 3 and 7 themselves were primes. So we can't factor those things anymore. So in this case, the LCD, least common denominator, of 3 and 7, well, the prime 3 shows up once here, not there. So we use it once. And the prime 7 shows up once here and not there. So we use the prime once. And in this case, the least common denominator of 3 and 7 is simply the product of 3 and 7. And that's going to be 21. Here are two more fractions. Uh, try to figure out what the uh, least common multiple or LCD uh, for these two fractions uh, is going to be. So I'm going to challenge you here. Uh, try to figure this one out on your own. Now, once we have that LCD, I'm going to multiply on the top and bottom of each fraction so that the denominator that we get is now the LCD. We're going to multiply on the top and bottom of each fraction by just the right number so that we get the bottom to equal our LCD. We're going to do that with each fraction. And then once we've done that, we're just going to add the numerators. We're just going to add the tops because we know that if I add two fractions where the bottoms are the same. That's the same thing as just adding the tops, and the bottom remains the same. Uh, so here, as an example, uh, I'm going to find 5 sevenths plus 2 fifths. So I'm going to go through that whole process now. Uh, take the bottoms of my fractions, 5 and 7 write each of these guys as a product of prime numbers. Well, 5 and 7 on their own are prime numbers. So when figuring out our LCD of 5 and 7, uh, it is just like the previous problem. It is just the product of 5 and 7, which is 35. Okay, so I'm going to take 5 sevenths plus 2 fifths, and I need to multiply this fraction on the top and bottom by some number so that the bottom gets me to 35, and I need to multiply on the top and bottom of this fraction by some number so that on the bottom I get 35. So I'm looking at this first fraction. I say, OK, what number do I have to multiply 7 by to get 35? Well, I need to multiply by 5. And what we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top as well to keep it equal. So this is going to give me 35 on the bottom when I multiply these uh, fractions here. Two-fifths. What do I multiply 5 by to get 35? I multiply that by 7. Again, what I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So now, when I take these products uh, once more, um, as we said, when we're multiplying fractions, we just multiply the tops and we multiply the bottoms. So 5 times 5, 25, over 5 times 7, 35, plus 2 times 7, over 5 times 7.
Now that we have two fractions where the bottoms are the same, we just add their numerators. And that gives us 39 divided by 35. Uh, one more here. We're going to find uh, 11 over 6 minus 2 over 15. Uh, so once again, um, we're going to take the bottoms of these two fractions. And I am going to write each of these as a product of prime numbers. 6 is 2 times 3. 15 is 3 times 5. LCD, 2 is only showing up here, so we use that once. 3 is showing up once here and once here. We use it the greater number of times, but the greater number of times is only 1. And then 5 is showing up once here, not there. We use that once, and that gets us 30. So again, 11 over 6 minus 2 over 15. And I'm going to purposely cut this off here. I'm going to let you guys uh, work with this one from here. What number do I have to multiply on the top and bottom by here so that, so that the bottom would become 30 here? And what do I have to multiply on the top and bottom by here so that this bottom would become 30? So try to figure that one out uh, on your own. And lastly, to wrap up this video, just a slightly different view, a slightly different way to look at a subtraction. If you're going to take the difference of two quantities, say x minus y, that is the same thing as doing x plus negative y or x plus minus y. So really, subtraction is really just the same as adding the opposite of the second number onto the first number. And instead of taking the second number away from the first number, we can also look at it as adding the negative of the second number onto the first number. And there is a special mathematical term uh, for this opposite. Uh, it's called the additive inverse. Or we'll be seeing that um, again very shortly. Uh, one final note, the order in which we add numbers does not matter. It doesn't matter which number you put first or second when you add things, but the order in which we subtract numbers does matter. Subtracting two uh, numbers in one order does not give you the same thing uh, as if you uh, switch the order uh, with those things. So guys, that concludes our video on adding and subtracting uh, real numbers, specifically fractions. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please be sure to reach out to me, email, phone call, stop into my office, whatever you need to do. Otherwise, until the next video, take it easy, guys.